The U.S. visa interview is not easy. I know because I'm a former U.S. visa officer and I've conducted thousands of visa interviews. Now I help people prepare for their visa interview. So if you're going into the visa interview for the first time, just know that you have a great opportunity to make a positive impression on the visa officer and you need to get ready for it. It is not enough to go to your visa interview without any prior thought or preparation. At minimum, you need to think about the purpose of the visa interview, what kind of questions you might receive, and how to best provide information that is going to highlight your situation to the visa officer given the visa class that you're applying for and your personal situation. Here I'm gonna share five important tips to get ready for your first visa interview. The first thing to keep in mind for your visa interview is that the officer that you talk to probably hasn't seen your case before you show up to the visa window. This means that your presentation and your interview are extremely important. The outcome of your interview absolutely depends on the impression you leave upon the officer. At Argo, we always recommend responses to the visa questions that are concise, but also complete and thoughtful, and talk to why you qualify for the visa class that you are applying for. It's also important to keep in mind that visa officers are taking notes during your interview. And one thing that visa officers will put in their notes if they're thinking about issuing the case or they have a good impression of your interview is that the applicant presents well. What does it mean to present well during the visa interview? Well, first, it includes this idea of, you know, concise but complete answers, but it also it includes your presentation. So you wanna make sure you have a presentation that is confident, that you seem comfortable, that you don't sound memorized or robotic in your responses, and also that your physical appearance matches and is coherent with the visa class that you're applying for and the story that you are telling during your visa interview and in the responses that you provide to the visa officer. The second thing to keep in mind is that documents are secondary. While you should have some documents prepared to back up what you're saying in your visa interview, you do not want to obsess over them and you especially do not want to present them as soon as you walk up to the visa window. You want to wait for the first question and then present verbally the highlights about your case. If the officer asks to see any documents about what you're talking about, you wanna be prepared to quickly give them the documents or you can politely offer one or two pieces of evidence in the context of what you're talking about. But never ever show up to the visa window and just say, hey officer, look at my documents. They're not gonna do it and it's gonna set your visa interview off on the wrong foot. The third thing is to be prepared to speak to a US government official. There's some cultural work involved in this concept. You are speaking to an American official who almost certainly has been prepared in American education institutions and is very culturally American. So you wanna to speak to them in a way that they are going to find comfortable and that they're going to understand. This means looking them straight in the eye. If your eyes are moving all over the place during your interview and you're going like this, this, up, down, round, this for an American culture is a sign of lying. And so the visa officer is going to uh, be less willing to trust your case if you are not making good eye contact. The other thing is that you wanna be very concise and you want to be very direct in your speech. Telling a really long story to finally get to the point at the end is likely to annoy the visa officer and it's not gonna create a good impression in your visa interview. So think about how an American official would, would want to be spoken to and then prepare your visa interview from there. Fourth, your visa record is permanent. The DS-160s you submit, the notes the officer takes on your case, and the records associated with your fingerprints are all permanent parts of your visa record. 
So you need to be very careful about how you present your case. You need to always be truthful and you need to be prepared. Fifth, visa officers aren't generally mean or grumpy people. You have to realize that they are doing a hard job. They usually interview over a hundred people in a morning and they're making complex decisions over and over again on visa cases to ensure that they align with U.S. immigration law. So what does this mean? It means you need to do the visa officer a favor and make their job easier. You can do this by following the advice in this video. Be organized, present confidently, be concise, but be clear and thoughtful and complete in your answers. Getting ready for your visa interview is a way to make the visa officer's job easier. And it's also how you're going to make a good impression on them and hopefully get your visa approved. Argo Visa is here to help you with all of this. With mock interviews, custom strategy, identifying your strengths and weaknesses, helping you get prepared to interview and speak with an American official, if you work with Argo, you will be best prepared to present your case, to make a good impression, and to get your visa approved.